Recently, Redux Mods did an Inazuma 11 Champions League series over on their channel. They made Inazuma 11 equivalent teams for all the different Champions League teams, modded in kits, and did this really cool series of the different Champions League matches like an actual tournament. And so I asked Redux Mods, hey, could I do a similar thing for the Premier League? Obviously, I'm British, so, you know, the Premier League's kind of my jam. And they were like, yeah, they said I should probably only do eight teams instead of 20, which I guess makes sense. Uh, and so they modded in eight different Premier League teams for me, sent the file over and were like, right, enjoy. And then I sat on the file and didn't do anything for a few months because I never had the time to actually sit down and start the series. So I've decided I'm finally doing it but it's a big commitment, so I'm doing it a bit differently. Instead of doing a Premier League style round robin where every team plays each other twice, I'm going to just do a straight tournament. We have eight Premier League teams, all composed of Inazuma 11 players, and this is just a typical single elimination tournament. We have four quarterfinals, two semifinals, and one final. The way I've done the matches is similar to Redux Mods Champions League series, so I am technically playing the home team, but I am I'm not doing any of the arrows. I'm only passing when the when a player says, hey, pass to me, please. And whether or not I use special moves is just kind of up to my own discretion. I've then took that footage, edited it down into highlights, and then done post commentary over the highlights. So hopefully what you end up getting is a pretty entertaining 30-minute tournament. Again, massive thank you to Redux Mods for doing so much of the work with this in terms of actually making the teams, making the kits and all that stuff. One other rule before we begin though, and that is to do in the event of a draw. Basically, because obviously the home team have an advantage as they're me and not AI, I'm going to say that in the event of a draw, the away team automatically wins. Think of it like the away goals rule. And I hope you enjoy this video. And so the match between Arsenal and Liverpool kicks off. Arsenal in the green, Liverpool in the red. Dylan Keats makes a sliding tackle and it is a foul. Horrible play by the American. And here comes the vortex trap from Liverpool, sending Arsenal into the abyss. Nathan Swift, and it's another foul. This is some serious foul play off the bat, but it's a ball up to Cannon Evans. Cannon Evans with the Megaton head. Is it going to go in? Are we going to get the first goal of the Premier Cup straight away? Three minutes in. Yes, we are. Romeo doesn't know what he's doing. He's forgotten his job. He's forgotten that he's meant to be a goalkeeper. And so Cannon Evans secures the first goal. Nathan Swift running down the wing for Liverpool with a clone faker. Is he going to get a shot off? It looks like he isn't. Saw is going to pull out the no escape sliding down and Nathan is sent to oblivion but here is Ascot or oh, sorry Flair with the zigzag flame and is he going to get a shot off yes he is the maximum fire he has, does have the elemental advantage here but is Thomas Felt going to manage to stop it with shadow fists is he going to he isn't and it oh it hits the post I don't know what that noise was. It hits the post, so it stays 1-0 to Arsenal. Here they are, up. It's Gazelle with the Northern Impact 20 minutes into the match. Is he going to make it two? Is he going to double the lead? Romeo with the dimensional hand. It does go in. Gazelle just barely scraping that second goal. And the lead is doubled. We're into the second half now. Arsenal moving their way up the pitch. It's over to Gazelle. Is Gazelle going to cross it in? He is to Cannon Evans. Cannon with the header. I imagine Romeo's probably got this covered. Dimensional hand. Yeah, that looks like it's got it covered. It absolutely does. Romeo deals with that. And here we come again. Rex Remington for Liverpool running down the wing with the super elastic co. Is he going to manage to half the deficit here? He's going to try his very best with a space penguin firing it off. But is Felt going to have this covered? He didn't have the last one covered, but the post helped him out. Is the post going to be the savior yet again? Or is Felt's shadow fists actually going to do something? They are. They're going to stop the shot. 
But that's not enough. Rawton is going to get tackled. Dylan Keats is going to let out a hell fire. And this does have that all-important elemental advantage. But here are the Shadow Fists yet again. Are they going to be enough? They're not. And so Thomas Felt concedes. And Liverpool have halved the deficit. And Arsenal are now making their way up the pitch here. With the invincible Lance tactic, they've pulled that out of nowhere and now have made serious progress up the pitch. Look at all that free space for Rawton here, who is using Excalibur, Edgar Partnasses, Edna, Edgar Partnasses? I don't know how the plural works there, but he's going for a signature move. The block doesn't come off. Is Wormhole going to be enough? It isn't. And Romeo lets in yet another goal. It is 3-1 to Arsenal. They have absolutely demolished this match. And as the match approaches the end, we're in the 31st minute now. Rex Remington, yeah, a super elastico. Couldn't actually do anything for him. And that ends Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. And here we are with the second match. Manchester United versus Tottenham. The Red Devils versus the White Bottlers, whatever Tottenham's names are, the trophyless people, I don't know. But they're up against Manchester United, and how are they going to fare? Manchester United are progressing up the pitch quite nicely here. Ooh, they might be able to get a shot off. They do. Doom Spear Lancer is going for it straight away here. Manchester United's number, is that their number 11? Uh, it's hard to tell. Gallatin, is that going to be enough? I actually suspect, yeah. My suspicions were right. I didn't say my suspicions because I didn't want to look stupid. But Gallatin isn't enough. Manchester United take an early lead. Here's Tottenham here. Um, with I think it's, I don't know who that is with the ball. Plowing down the wing. Look at them go. They are going to get, it's just a simple chip shot. What are you doing, Tottenham? Come on, the heavy metal obviously blocks that without a single issue. Who do you think you are? I mean, come on. Are they here again trying their very best? They are, but a Hell's Descent absolutely puts a stop to that. Bale with the ball now. Is Bale going to keep the ball though? He doesn't. Eureka steals it off him, poaches it off him, and is going for the regular shot herself. It, is it going to get blocked again? It doesn't. Here's the Stinger. You imagine this is going to stop it. And yes, the Stinger does stop it. Eureka, you are not the one. Here's Tottenham again, though, in the second half, actually using a shooting move this time with a shining dragon. And Manchester United going to maintain their rock-solid defense. Drill smasher from Sanchez. And it is enough. The ball flies away. And here's Vac Attack, though, from Naven, who is not given Bale an inch here. And looks like they may be able to get another shot off. It's another shining dragon. Really quickly there. Out of TP though, Naven now. But does it matter? Because here's the Stinger. So, yeah. The Stinger wasn't actually enough. He needed to go for the Drill Smasher again. And it is 1-1. One, one. So obviously Tottenham are technically winning on the away uh, goals rule. But Manchester United are making really good progress here. It's a field of force from Lancer and Bale. Taking out three Tottenham defenders like it is nothing. And they might be able to get another Doom Spear off. We know this did do the work last time. So I'd be quite optimistic if I was Lancer. The Gallatin. We know this worked last time. Is the Gallatin going to surprise us? It doesn't. In the 25th minute, Manchester United take a late, late, late lead. And that lead is enough. They win the second match. 2-1. And here we are with the third match. Everton versus Chelsea. It is the battle of the Blues here. Everton, obviously, with every single financial problem you can possibly imagine. And then Chelsea, whose job it is to break all of those financial rules. But then, I guess, get away with it. I don't understand football finances. But Everton are making decent progress up the pitch here, actually. But Chelsea are doing even better. Vladimir is letting out a black bolide immediately, straight off the bat. Here he goes. 
You've got to imagine this This is going to go in. A move of this caliber. The block shoot misses, actually. And here is a, is a, a needle hammer. Really? Needle hammer? That, that's the best you can muster, Princeton? Come on. You are asking to concede there. Asking to concede. And so, Chelsea, here they are again. The attack has been relentless so far. Here's a fake shot. They've already got one. Do they want to try and double that? Here is another fake shot. Minion does not stand a chance. Le D Del Villiers is poising himself up for a shot here. He is going to go for the Hellfire. Now, obviously, this is significantly weaker than Black Belied. So maybe Princeton's actually going to be able to stop this with the Needle Hammer. The Ogre move. And he does. I love how he gets that, like, properly in his fist. That's nice. Here's Everton on the attack for once. What are they going to do? They're going to go for the Abyssal Shot. Such a sick move. Reef here. Is he going to be able to give Everton some kind of hope? Equalize? Shadow Fists? Uh, yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Chelsea stay ahead. And they're, they're still, they're still got the ball here. They're, they're making really good progress with the ball here. With that angel ball, taking out Steve Grimm. They're doing really well. Oh, over to Vladimir. And Vladimir is going to go for the fallen angel. Or, uh, Chelsea going to complete the goal of the tournament so far. A counterattack sent from the heavens. With a move as powerful as fallen angel, you can imagine there's a decent chance. And there is. And Princeton is sent packing. Chelsea with an outstanding goal. Talk about a counter-attack. And here, is this another bloody fallen angel? It is. It's another bloody fallen angel. In the second half. It might be 3-0. It might be 3-0. It is bloody 3-0. Would you look at that? Chelsea... They're not just destroying the British re uh, transfer records. They are also destroying Everton right now. And this is actually quite um, quite symbolic of the financial states of both clubs right now. Chelsea just absolutely taking the piss while Everton are getting absolutely ruined. And here's a Tiger drive from Everton trying to get some kind of consolation. Are they going to be able to pull it off? Here, responding with the Shadow Fists. And yet, yeah, there's just no chance. They are, That shot is sent flying. Can Everton muster something? It's the end of the match now. It's not looking too likely for them. But maybe, maybe another Tiger drive. If they get lucky, potentially they can muster. At least, you know, so it doesn't look embarrassing. But it, it's just going to get blocked, isn't it? It's just going to get blocked. Spinning car. Oh, only power down. Not too bad on their behalf then. But, yeah, it's a Shadow Fist. And you've got to imagine that's stopping this shot 10 times out of 10. It is. What a pathetic display from Everton. But what a fantastic display from Chelsea with a Vladimir hat trick. It is the battle of the oil teams now. It is Newcastle United versus Manchester City. Newcastle United, obviously, in the black and white. Manchester City in the light blue. This is the battle of the two richest clubs in the Premier League. And uh, uh, the guy commentating this may or may not be a Geordie, may or may not be a Newcastle United supporter, but don't let that's don't don't say that's not gonna don't say that's gonna influence my commentary. I am completely unbiased. Here's Drake and Yale unleashing a hurricane arrows on Bradford, but it is a foul. Ooh, ooh. In the penalty area, Robert Lee to take the penalty. The first penalty of the tournament. And Sinterquea can't do anything about it. Newcastle United to an early advantage with an absolutely gloriously taken penalty. But Edgar Partners and is that Kira Hirito, they have something to say about that penalty. They are responding in an extreme fashion with a Meteor Spear. This Meteor Spear, you imagine, is going to, uh, is going to what? Pierce straight through into Newcastle United's net. Darren Lachance with the Mug in the hand trying to stop the Manchester City onslaught. And he does with a beautiful Mug in the hand. Kira Hirito could do nothing about it. Here's Manchester City on the attack again. It's over to, is that Sean Frost? 
over back to Kira Hirito. You imagine Kira Hirito is going to try once again, and he does with the space. Penguin, is this stronger or weaker than Meteor Spear? I actually don't know. But this is obviously, it's a strong, strong move. Darren Lachance, are you going to stay firm? Are you going to, to maintain Newcastle United's lead here like you did so expertly before? Mugen the hand. What's it going to be? He saves it. Look at this man. Look at him go. The rock in Newcastle United's net right now. And here's Bellatrix, though, poaching the ball away from Legato. Edgar Partners. Edgar Partners with the Excalibur. I have never felt more British in my life right now than at seeing an Excalibur and getting a little tingle inside. And here's Darren Lachance again. He's getting another chance to be the star. Get it? Chance? Lachance? Is he going to do it? Mugen the hand? He does. Look at that. The big man in the center of the goal. We're in the second half now. Here is a triangle Z from Manchester City. The attack has been relentless so far. But Darren Lachance, he has not been phased. His, his mind hasn't wandered. But it, it has now. I mean, what is this, lad? What was that? Oh, but it hits the post. It hits the post. Newcastle United stay ahead by virtue of the post. And you have to wonder, did, La did Darren Lachance see that? Was Darren Lachance's mind five steps ahead and he saw that I was going to hit the post and thought not to waste the TP? You don't know when you're dealing with a god. He is Aster with the X-Blast. This is a massive opportunity for Newcastle United to capitalize on City's failed attacks. And they do. Cinque Dea does not know what he's doing. He's forgotten that he's playing football. He's completely forgotten. He's too busy doing Sudoku's on the back of his newspaper. And it is 2-0 to Newcastle United. Space Penguins are getting launched again at Darren Lachance's goal. What exactly is he going to do about them? I do wonder. I imagine it starts with a Mugen and ends with a The Hand. Let's see. No, he doesn't. He concedes defeat. Is he out of TP? I didn't think he was. But he does concede there. Maybe he just thought he'd give them something. There's only five minutes left of this match. And this is probably looking like their last attack of the game, Manchester City. And it's a feeble, ordinary shot from Bellatrix. And Darren the chance. He's going to flex on them. Absolutely flex on them with a Mugen, the hand. Stop them right in their tracks. And there we go. You imagine that seals an unexpected Newcastle United victory. Would you look at that? Wow. Welcome one and all to the semi-finals. This is the battle of the red kits. I apologize if this is going to be quite hard to follow. But as your commentator, I will do my best. This is Arsenal versus Man United. Arsenal are attacking upwards. Man United are attacking downwards right now. Arsenal have the ball. And they're going to get the first shot of the day off with a double jaw. Look at it go. Look at that beautiful... Beautiful texture. What's Sanchez going to do about it? He's going to bring out the drill smasher. And he fires that shot away without much concern. Manchester United on the offensive now. It's been a pretty quiet first half. As you can see, we're in the 22nd minute. And Emperor Penguin number three is looking like Manchester United's first real shot of the game. Thomas Felt with a shadow fist. What's he going to do? Oh, the answer is stop it like it's nothing. This is a top-class goalkeeper. But Destra, Destra, ooh, with the Hell's Descent and the Shadow Ray combo, the one-two punch straight in, in uh, Arsenal's box here. And it's looking pretty dire for Thomas Feld here. If he can stop this, he is a hero, but he doesn't. He is a loser. And Manchester United take an early, early advantage. And we're in the still at the end of the first half here. And Destra is still going for health descents. Is he going to try and double this lead at the end of the first half? I think he is. I think he's going to try. He is going to go for another Shadow Ray. We know that Thomas Felt couldn't do anything about this the first time. Will he be second time lucky? Will he? Come on, Felt. You don't let us down. Oh, but he isn't. Of course, the saying is third time lucky, not second time lucky. Of course, he lets that shot in. We're in the second half now. Here comes a heat tackle from Ulrich. Ulrich plowing past uh, Man United's defense here. 
Ooh, and look at all that cheeky, cheeky space. He's going to go for the Meteor Spear, Kira Hirito's signature move in the Great Road of Heroes mod. And is this going to get past Sanchez and the Stinger? Let's find out. It is! And Arsenal have the deficit. Obviously, that's not exactly how it works because of the away rule. That means that Arsenal have to win this if they want to advance in the competition. But it's going to be a crossfire. They're going to try their very best from Gazelle and Cannon. We're 12 minutes into the second half. This is a serious show of intent. But, but Archer Hawkins, he's saying different things. He's writing a different story. Oh, this is your sign of intent? Well, this is my sign of intent powering down their shot so that Sanchez can sweep up, presumably here, with a drill smasher. And of course he can. Ben Ulrich with the heat tackle progressing up the field like it's nothing. What's he going to do with this ball? He's going to give it to Gazelle, of course. And Gazelle's going to lob it over to Cannon Evans, who is going to go for a massive charge cannon. This could, this could do numbers. This could do numbers. Drill Smasher. It's Charge Cannon versus Drill Smasher. What's it going to be? Obviously, it's a Cannon Evans goal. And that means it is 2-2. Obviously, like we said, the away rule is intact. And it's looking like Manchester United are still going to advance. Can they seal up the win here in the 30th minute? It's a doom break from Manchester United. Uh, is it going to go in? Look at that move. Look at that wrecking ball. Thomas Felt can't do anything about it, actually. But it bounces off the post. And Arsenal go out. But I guess they go out with a little bit of pride intact. They only drew. But by virtue of the away rules, they are still out. And Manchester United are our first finalist. Here we are for the uh, second semi-final. Deciding our second and final finalist. Count how many times I said final in that sentence. Newcastle United versus Chelsea. And straight off the bat, Buckingham with a show of intent. Now, obviously, this is, again, two very rich teams. So, let's see what they're going to pull out here. Obviously, Chelsea dominated in their uh, quarterfinal. Newcastle United, I wouldn't say scraped past Man City, but probably scraped past a pretty relentless Man City. Here's Freud with the angel ball making Legato look foolish. And it looks like Freud is going to get the first shot of the match off with a Thunder Breaker teaming up with Vladimir, giving us the old 1-2 tag team. It fires down the box. What's Darren Lachance going to do about it? He was such a titan against, um, against Man City. Is it going to be a repeat of that performance here? Oh, that's off to a good start. That's, going to, that's off to a very good start. I'm using the hand. And he absolutely demolishes that shot. And here's a Hellfire from the Villiers. We know these Hellfires can be quite powerful. What's Darren Lachance got to say about it? Obviously, he's responding with only three words. Mugen the hand. And it stops it. Darren Lachance, you are a true titan amongst goalkeepers. You've stopped two shots. It's very impressive. Here's a Lion Gate from Laurel Bay. Stealing the ball back on the edge of the area. Going for the triangle Z. It's another test for Darren Lachance. But we know he loves these kind of chances. He does not let them in. Is he going to? It's Mug in the hand. We know what happens when we see Mug in the hand. We know there's no chance of a shot going in. Or is there? There isn't. Of course Darren Lachance has that on lock. He has the key in his back pocket. We're in the second half now and Chelsea continue their relentless attack. Le Vizzi de Villiers with another hell fire. Darren Lachance had this down before. Will he again? Mugen, the hand. The audience go crazy when they see it. Oh, bye. Yeah. That was the audience. Mugen, the hand, stops Hellfire yet again. Is there anything that can phase this man? I don't know. Newcastle United, though, have yet to kind of have any real attack. But Rob Lee is looking to try and change that with a clone faker. Beautiful ball up to, I think this is uh, Langford, with a hell spawn teaming up with Aster. This could be huge. This could be absolutely huge for Newcastle United. We're 17 minutes into the second half. If they can get a goal here, that is massive. Hell spawn versus Shadow Fists. And they do, they... 
they score! And despite Chelsea absolutely dominating the match up to this point, it is Newcastle United, it is the Magpies who find themselves ahead, the underdogs. And here is Froy with a thunder breaker. He is desperate to try and scrape this for Chelsea. They have been so good up to this point, but they have just failed to get past the wall himself. And he's continuing to Mugen it up in here, in, in this, this room. And he continues to stop shots like it's nothing. You just can't beat this man. You just can't beat this man. But they're going to try. It is looking. It is basically the end of the match now. A mole shuffle. This is Chelsea's last chance. If they want to try and scrape something, they are going to try. Black ball eyed from Vladimir. You do imagine a fallen angel. Maybe you would have had a better chance with the elemental advantage. But is black ball eyed going to do it anyway? Let's find out. Obviously, it's a Mug in the hand. Obviously. Obviously, it's Darren Lachance. This is the language he speaks in. He stops it. Darren Lachance. He's, he's took Newcastle single-handedly to the, the final with his massive saves. And there we go. We have our two finalists. I think basically one finalist is just Darren Lachance. And here we are for the final of the Inazuma 11 Premier League Cup. It is Newcastle United versus Manchester United. A repeat of the Carabao Cup final, the, the previous one, um, where Manchester United actually emerged victorious. But here are Newcastle United on their first charge of the match with a hell spawn. Rob Lee and Langford teaming up. Are they going to get this Hellspawn past Sanchez? This would be a massive early show of intent if they can. Getting that, that first goal. They do! Newcastle United. There we go. That's what we're talking about. The underdogs continue their unlikely um, campaign. And here is Code working his way up the field. It's a ball into Asta. It is an X-Blast fired off. Into the goal of Manchester United. Manchester United's goal, I guess, if you're saying that in, like, grammatically correct terms. Drill Smasher, Sanchez's Drill Smasher versus... Not yet. It, do it just does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. And Newcastle United secure themselves a 2-0 lead. That is humongous. Lancer, though, he isn't very keen on that. He does not like that at all. Going for the field of force. Working his way down Newcastle United's pitch. Gone for the doom break here. This is as strong as Manchester United's attack can get. Darren Lachance, we know he is an absolute titan. We know he is a god among men with his Mug in the hand. And he, yeah, there it is. There is the Mug in the hand. The audience go crazy as always. Does he stop the shot? He doesn't! Darren Lachance has been beaten. He's been absolutely beaten there. I don't know, I, am I saying the word beaten? Or am I just completely doing that word every kind of injustice imaginable? Caleb Stonewall with the foul. It's a free kick for Newcastle United. They've gone for, they pass it up to Bradford here with the abandoned drop. Bradford works his way up the pitch. It's a fireball screw from Bradford at the end of the first half. Well, not really the end, more like the back end of the first half. It's a fireball screw. Sanchez doesn't know what he's doing. He's forgotten what the occasion is. He's let it get to his head and he's dropped the ball. Literally into the back of the net. And yeah, Newcastle United, a 3-1 up. It's the beginning of the second half. Lancer has something to say about that as he always does. It's a doom break. He's not going to let Newcastle United sit pretty on this lead. That looks to me like it might be going out. I think we might have a post hit here. Assuming this gets past Darren the Chances, famous Mug in the hand. It does. I think this might hit the post. It doesn't, though. And Lancer gets his second goal of the evening. And it is now 3-2. And Lancer does get the ball here. Is he going to get another shot off? Another Doom break here would be absolutely massive. But he doesn't. He goes for Doom Spear instead. Again, this could hit the post. It's one of those angles. But first, it has to get past a Mug in the hand that has been pretty impenetrable um, so far, just this tournament. But it has been absolutely worthless tonight. Darren a chance has found his match, but it hit the post. It hit the bloody post. It hit the bloody post. 
and Newcastle United retain their advantage. And Emperor Penguin, number three from Skipper. Is it going to do it? Is it going to be the one for Manchester United? Remember, they only need one goal. They only need that one goal because of the away goals rule. They, that's all they need. Are they going to get it? Mugen the hand has been worthless, but it is back to its best. It has stopped another shot, but it's going to have to deal with another one here with an abyssal shark from Skipper. You have to feel for Manchester United, though. They probably want Lancer firing off these shots. Instead, they've got a pirate doing them with an elemental disadvantage, though. You have to, you have to, to think, though, maybe... Maybe not. Maybe not. Darren Lachance, he stands firm in the center of that net. Ooh, that is a bad pass. That's a horrible pass. Destra. Darren Lachance, of course. Safe, safe hands he may have conceded to. It is the end, and it is the end of the match. That's it. Newcastle United take the dub. They take the victory. And there we have it. Newcastle United do end up taking the victory in the Inazuma 11 Premier League Cup. I promise, promise, promise it wasn't rigged. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to Redux Mods if you haven't already. And if you want to subscribe to me, that would obviously be very appreciated. Like, comment, all that classic YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.